90% of the developers are failing to answer these questions. I can you explain the above question? Okay, the output for the above code will be 10 log it 10 times. In the above example, we are using for loop. If you carefully observe the for loop, we are declaring the variable i by using var declaration. In JavaScript, whenever we are declaring the variable by using var declaration, it will become functional scope. Due to this, in our code, the same variable will be shared across all the iterations and the values that is 1, 2 and up to 10 will be updated to the same instance of the variable. Now, inside the for loop, we have a set timeout. In JavaScript, set timeout is asynchronous in nature, means it will not be executed immediately. The function inside the set timeout will be pushed to the task queue and it will wait there until all the synchronous activity is executed successfully. Now, the JavaScript engine will execute the second iteration. Inside the second iteration, we have another set timeout. So this will be pushed onto task queue and the current value of i will be 2, which will be updated to the same instance. So this will repeat until the iteration 10 occurs. In the 10th iteration, the value of i will be 10, which will be updated to the same instance. Once this is completed, all the synchronous activities completed successfully. Now, as the set timeout functions are waiting in the task queue, it will be executed immediately. Now, as the current value of i is 10, this will be logged in all the set timeouts. Hey Sai, where can I learn all these practical interview questions and answers? You can get it from link in my bio.